In the next minute, I'm gonna share with you the easiest way to master your music right inside your DAW, even if you don't have any mastering experience. Let's go. The easiest way right now to master your music inside your DAW, even if you have zero experience, is by using the latest plugin called Lander Mastering. Now, listen, shout out to Lander. They sponsored this video because we were talking about how I've been going into this deep dive on implementing AI into my production workflow so that I can get more done in less time and be able to optimize some things that I do that I'd rather not spend time doing, right? So I thought this was just perfect and I was just like, yo, what you guys created here is, it's, it's dope, it's super dope. All right, without further ado, let's just dig straight into this plugin so I can show you how it works. All right, so I have a session pulled up. I have the hook looped so that we can just focus on this part. This is like the loudest part of the track. So if you can get this right, everything else will be a little bit easier. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna play what I have now with my current mastering chain already set up and, and active. So here we go. So that's pretty much it there. So now what we want to do, I want to disable pretty much my entire mastering chain, except, well, no, let's disable everything. This Lander mastering plugin may replace like everything I'm using right now. So let's just disable everything. And then let's just pull up this Lander mastering, man. Let's see what, let's see what they, what they created with this thing. All right. So waiting for this to pull up. I don't know why my logic has been slower than usual this past week. So, okay, so it's waiting for audio playback. It says, for best results, add this plugin to your master channel and play the loudest part of your song. So we already have the loop hook. That's the loudest part of our song. So now we're just going to play it. It's listening to our track. Now it's measuring frequency balance, measuring dynamic range. This is pretty cool. It's going quick too. Stereo image. Genre. It's building a custom signal chain. Generating some mastering styles. Mastering the track. Optimizing. This was quick. to stop it yet make sure it finish make sure it finishes doing its thing all right so that's it like it threw a master gave us pretty much a preset on this master and let's listen to it and see how it sounds I'm mad at it. So it got it got the loudness around the same time as uh, as the previous one. So let me uh, let me let me play this, and then I'm gonna disable it, and then play my old mastering chain. So okay, that's without it being mastered. That's with my old chain. not mad at that so the cool thing about this what i like about it is that it's super simple the interface so you have a few different options you have warm you have balance and you have open so warm it kind of gives it this vintage character and it kind of emphasizes the low mids and smooth highs so let's see what that sounds like See what open sounds like. So open, I feel more punch and presence versus that, you know, that low mid emphasis on the, the warm. And then balance kind of gives you a balance of both.
you kind of get that that punch and presence with some more on the low mids and smooth highs as well. So you got some EQ if you want to go in and kind of make some tweaks. You have presence here. This is going to control the amount of presence in your critical vocal range of your master. So I don't have vocals in this track, so we're not going to really hear much of a difference by adjusting this. And then, of course, your de is usually used for vocal stuff. You have some dy dynamic stuff. So you have your compression where you can adjust the amount of compression. So, you know, if you have some low parts, some low elements in your track, that's going to help bring those up and kind of reduce the overall dynamic range of your track. And then you got character, which is going to change the behavior of compression from fast to punchy to slow and smooth. Um, and then if you turn it to the left, that's going to increase the overall punch and turning right makes the compression smoother so and then you got saturation so if you want some of that you know analog warmth you can kind of do that with this and then over here you have your stereo field so let's play around with this widen our mix a little bit or if you want a more focused mix things kind of feel more centered I like it kind of wide. Turn that lows down. So this is this is pretty cool. And then you have loudness. just want to get a little bit louder or turn it down you got your gain match kind of go back and forth and then say if you want to kind of go back make some tweaks to your individual tracks and in, in your mix before you know, you master or say there's just some things you're hearing, you want to go back and tweak, you can just hit this master button again, and then it will just kind of go through everything and reanalyze it and then give you a new master based on the, the revisions that you made to the mix. So that's pretty cool. But I love this interface. It's super smooth. It's super clean. And basically, man, it just makes the mastering process less intimidating, especially if you're not like, an expert master engineer, which a lot of producers aren't, man. We're, we're just kind of creating this stuff in our home studios. And then, you know, we're throwing some plugins on there. Or sometimes mastering is just a struggle for producers. We just want to create and be able to quickly create these, these, you know, these masters on our track so we can get, you know, get the volume where we need it to be and get the overall sound to, to be consistent across our track. So, this is pretty cool. So listen, like everything I had in my mastering chain, this one plugin has. So, you know, as far as saturation, I was using a virtual tape machine. You know, I had a compressor um, to kind of glue everything together here. You know, there's some compression. I was using a stereo imager to kind of, you know, widen my mix a little bit. But as you can see here, we have that um, built right into the, the Lander Mastering plugin. And then, of course, I was using kind of like my go to thing. This was like the main plugin that was, you know, taking that gain up and would allow me to kind of adjust some of the punch and in character of the track which again we have that in dynamics we have that in presence if we're dealing with some vocals and eq as well so that's super dope and then as far as metering i have a a little more advanced meter that's kind of built into the the controller that i'm using so that you know i'll probably still have that just for some different metering things but you have your basic you know lufs meter you have your your decibels and all that stuff so Man, I mean, you have everything in just this clean, simple interface. And it sounds good. Honestly, I think it kind of sounds better than my previous master. So I'll probably run it through this. And this is super convenient for me personally because I work on, like, music for TV and film. And a lot of times we have really quick deadlines. And we don't have time to, like, 
go through and make a bunch of tweaks or mastering or if you don't know how to mix and master your own tracks this is a quick way to get professional quality masters on your mixes and you can turn around stuff super fast so shout out to lander mastering for creating this this will definitely be a go-to for me just because of the ease of use and how quick it it analyzes and masters everything this is this is great just to have this in whatever DAW you're using and not have to go through extra steps uploading on websites and downloading and, and things like that. So super, super dope stuff. So you can see how big of a time saver this could be and the reason why I love AI right now, hence the creation of AI for producers.com. So listen, let me know in the comments, is this something you're gonna implement into your production workflow so that you can quickly master music? Let me know down in the comments below. If you wanna try this plugin out for yourself, then just click the link in the description. If you thought this video was helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.